What year LS3 do you have? Brand new uh, Chevy Powerports, uh, five and a quarter horse uh, LS3. Uh, Crate motor? Yes. 58X? Yep, that's right. So it's a brand new motor, no, uh, no changes so far. What is it going into, sir? It's going into a 1971 uh, Pontiac Firebird uh, form Formula 400. So it's a uh, you know, pretty cool body style. Any cam changes to the motor? Uh, no, no cam changes at all. It's uh, it's very very stock. The uh, you know engine is uh, it's in place. It's got a height uh, suspension to it, so it's uh, heavily modified. It's got IRS in it. It's got uh, a bunch of other things that have been done, but uh, powertrain no. It's 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 very stock. And what transmission are you running? I'm running a Rockland uh, standard gear uh, six speed Transilla transmission. Standard? Yeah, manual, correct. No smog or emissions issues. No, no. That's, uh, we're going to go uh, in California before 75. We're good. Did you want to eliminate the speed sensor also? Yeah, that's fine. We can eliminate that. That's uh, no problem. I'm, uh, Are we doing the computer with this? Yes. Along with the harness? That would be great. Terrific. And do you well, have a core on the computer? Uh, I do. So um, I can uh, send that to you and maybe do a swap. Is that cool? Are you going to do that? Is that something we can do? Stock injectors, you said? Stock injectors. And you're running the drive-by wire that came on the motor? Uh, yes, correct. Uh, I'd like to run that. That's, do you uh, have a pedal? I do not. I need one of those. Corvette pedal? That'd be great. What about mass airflow sensor? Um, yep, I need one of those too. I, I, you know, actually, you know what? I think I have one of those. So I think I'm good there. I think I'm all set. Uh, we need to run a mass airflow sensor. I would, uh, they ran a cartridge one from the factory, which would work best in your application. Okay, well, that's fine. We can run that. I'm, uh, I'm game uh, for We that. can supply it if you would like. It's, uh, it's $108. Yeah, absolutely. That would be terrific. Yeah, if we can do that, that would uh, solve the problem there. And with your belt system, does that put the alternator up top or down low? Uh, let me think for a minute. Um, Stock yeah. two-pin connector on it? Yeah, it, it is high, and yes, it has a two-pin connector. But, uh, you know, I need to look at that again because I can't remember exactly which number of pins is in it. So uh, I'll do a little research in that regard. Sound good? Um, it, the cars ran a four-pin connector. The trucks ran a two. I can put a jumper on the harness. It'll work either way for you. Oh, well, that would fix it. Okay, terrific. Let's do that. That'll be an uh, easy okay. solution. Terrific. Yes. <laughs> yep, yep. And you said dual electric fans? Yes, correct. We got some uh, mats and uh, radiator system with uh, two 12-inchers. Uh, so, yeah, that'd be great. So if we can put the We'll put in. the universal connector on the harness, animating it in a baggie for you. Just put it on your pigtail and plug it together. Great. Excellent. That's terrific and news. And did you want us to supply the front two oxygen sensors, or do you have a, a set to use? I do not. That would be great. I'm running a, a American Racing Headers uh, program there. And, and uh, length on the harness from the passenger side rear head to where you're mounting the computer. Uh, same price, up to five foot. Yeah, that'll work. I'm going to put it inside. I'm going to put the computer uh, by, by the glove box, kind of a traditional place. So that would be great. Uh, four foot get you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think four fit will be about enough. That'll be fine. And these harnesses are covered in the, the nylon mesh. Did you want us to put the pass-through wires underneath the loom of the harness for you for your convenience? Yeah. For your gauges? Yeah, absolutely. That'd be great. That's a nice convenience. We'll take it. And standard layout would bring the fuse block and ALDL out about three or four foot at the computer with the relays mounted next to it. Is that okay? Wow. Yeah, that's great. That'd be perfect. Like it. Yeah, this, this is exciting. I'm real happy about what's going on here. That's terrific. You guys have really uh, covered all the bases. There's a fuel pump relay in our harness with a pigtail and a mating connector. You'll just run your power up and plug it in. Okay, great. We've got a tank's, uh, tank's rear end uh, or tank's uh, fuel system on that, so terrific. It's, uh, it's, you would run the power up if you would like. We can run it back for you. I would just need a length on it. Okay, I can do some measuring too. That's fine. Yeah, I was worried about that. Yeah. Not, not a problem. Did you have any other questions? No, that was uh, the tank was a big uh, question for me, and uh, you know a couple other things that you've already covered. You know where I was going to put the computer and how the how the lines are going to run. So, That's great. So we're doing the harness, the ECM with the core, 
the mass airflow and the two oxygen sensors? Yes, that's all perfect. And you're all set on fuel pump and regulator? I have all that, so I'm good. No problem at all. We should be, uh, should be fine. That's, that's really good. Yes, sir. Uh, go ahead with your uh, shipping address and phone number.